What is the story that you keep telling yourself? Strange question, you may know what it is, you may not. Let's find out. Hi friends, back again, Daz here. Hope you're doing well. UK, we're dying on our asses because it's so goddamn hot. It's ugh, first world problems, let's be honest. But absolutely gorgeous sunny days, but so stinking hot, humid, all that good stuff. Anyway, hope you're well. So, what is the story you're telling yourself and why it's important that you know what it is and maybe change it. So what is this? If you don't know what I'm talking about, the story you tell yourself is almost like a repeated kind of affirmation of your mindset and what you think about life and just generally about you. And it's something that you kind of constantly tell yourself, consciously or subconsciously. So it could be things like, I'm not a gym person. I don't like spicy foods. They're kind of quite sort of superficial level stuff. And again, not really life changing. What the effect is of saying that to yourself, that story that you're telling yourself that you're, you, you're not a spicy food person or you're not a gym person, is it affirms and confirms to you in your subconscious that going to the gym or eating spicy food in this example is not something you'll do. And so you're never likely to try those things or do them because it's just not you. It's not part of your makeup. You're just not a gym person or someone who eats spicy food or whatever it may be. And so whilst those two things are not necessarily deep and life-changing, the problem is the story you tell yourself on other aspects can hugely affect the whole course of your life. And these are things like, I'm not confident. I'm not the sort of person who has success. People like me don't set up businesses. People like me don't attract the perfect partner. Every relationship of mine is always ending disaster, so that's just how it is for me. I'm just not one of those lucky people. These kind of statements and these kind of stories that you're telling yourself over and over again literally is making that happen. It's tied in with the law of attraction. Because you're constantly saying these things and thinking them, you believe them, therefore it manifests itself. So you do only attract the wrong type of people or you do fail at certain things because success is not for you. The more you confirm to your inner subconscious that this sort of thing is not for you, you're not that type of person, one, the more you attract it, but the more certain it is that you're not going to ever get that thing. And this is where the problem is. This is that huge dichotomy of feelings. Even if you're saying and almost acting that you want these things. But if you fundamentally believe that everything always goes wrong and you don't have success or someone like you doesn't have that type of thing, then whatever you say doesn't matter. It's what you're telling yourself, the story you're telling yourself deep inside and what you truly believe, then these things will never happen. They'll never change because basically you don't believe they'll change. You're saying that, but in here and in here, you don't believe it. I want to find the perfect partner. But if in here and in here, you're- Someone like me, I have so many failed relationships, it's never gonna happen for me. Then no matter what you say and all the dating websites you go on on blind dates and dates and friends and all that groovy stuff, you just won't because you fundamentally don't believe it. And this is the problem. It's that story you're telling yourself about that particular situation, in this case, finding a partner. But said it could be anything, it could be getting fit, losing weight, starting a business, being successful in life in general, being a successful parent, just anything. It's that story that you're constantly telling yourself. And let me know in the comments below, what's the story that you're telling yourself constantly? Just take a moment and ask yourself, what is the thing that you're constantly telling yourself about things in life, whether it's success, whatever that means to you, or relationships, or fitness, finances, whatever it may be, just ask yourself, what is the story that you're telling yourself? And if it's... Well, someone like me isn't successful, or you know, won't find the right partner, etc. Then that's a huge reason why you're not finding the right partner, being successful, financially independent, whatever the thing is, because you are affirming to yourself that that can't happen. And it's a massive self-fulfilling prophecy that the more you tell yourself it won't happen, it's not gonna happen, full stop. You need to change, change the story you're telling yourself. And it's not gonna happen overnight, absolutely not. It will happen gradually, but you have to keep telling yourself a better story and affirming to yourself that these things can happen. It's not gonna happen overnight, it's gonna take time. And that could be days, weeks, months, years even. 
but the more you're telling yourself this will happen these things will happen whatever that is and not keep telling yourself the same story of and this is not going to happen i can't do that of course you won't if you tell yourself you won't you won't obviously it frustrates the out of me when people are just so oh no no that positive stuff just doesn't work no it doesn't work for people like me i've tried it it doesn't work no it doesn't fucking work because you're still telling yourself the same negative it's all well and good saying yeah i'm being positive but if you're believing all the negative it's not going to work it's got to be completely congruent what you're saying externally and what you're telling yourself and believing in here is what matters and if you're believing that it's going to happen here and you're saying it's going to happen then you're all gucci and everything's aligned but you have to constantly check and make sure that the story you're telling yourself is the same as the story you're telling other people they have to be exactly aligned but most people are like no no it's not going to happen for me you know i've tried this blah blah blah, blah. the sort of people that find a problem to every solution these are the people that me off and i'll be blunt about it very polarizing statement but why i, I never understand why people have to be so negative all the time there's no benefit no it's not it's not practical to be so positive how's that negative working out for you how's life going for you is it going really well because you seem to be constantly moaning about everything because you're constantly moaning and complaining you're just manifesting a life that's it at least being positive even if life's not great that yet it's a lot happier and a lot more fun that's why i'm so annoyingly bouncy and probably piss a lot of people off because i'm so up all the time it. i don't care you know that's the thing you know i'm being me i'm being true and honest myself and don't complain about it if you're going to complain about it at least do something about it it's the people who complain about stuff but are still telling themselves all the same crappy story and negativity in their life and then just complain about it and negative and complain and what is the f***ing point but yeah i mean all joking aside why there's no benefit to it at all so think about the type of story that you're telling yourself on various aspects of your life whether it's say fitness finances relationships and just be bluntly honest with yourself i mean this is the often the hardest thing to be that honest with yourself to say no i'm telling myself i'm not going to attract someone and maybe you haven't attracted the right person all the way through so it's it's i can see why and i totally get it where you're going well i'll never attract anyone decent because look at look at all the sort of the nightmares i've attracted so far and that may well have been the case but that's then doesn't mean you can't and it could also be that after one or two bad experiences you're like oh i only attract bad people and therefore you attract more bad people and it just basically strengthens the idea that you only attract bad people and keep doing that and then you attract more bad people and it's just it's a self-fulfilling prophecy break that chain look at the stories you tell yourself and change them basically and and your life will absolutely change things will turn around you'll start being happier you'll feel freer you'll feel just lighter it's something like this weight has come off your back that it's almost like enlightenment you know i don't want to be overly religious or spiritual about it but it's almost like that kind of situation where you just feel free and i've just had this in the last few months and this and this is not a religious or spiritual thing at all but it's just being truly honest not only with other people but more importantly with yourself of your your thoughts your good points and acknowledge your good points acknowledge your bad points but just acknowledge them and be comfortable with them and and just go with it and be brutally honest with yourself and others and just live an honest true authentic life and it's like ah it's like all the weight of the world just falls off your shoulders it's so freeing it's weird for other people because people aren't normally that honest it really is odd and i've had a few strange reactions because people aren't normally that honest and and don't have any bullshit or games or anything like that the way forward i tell you so hopefully you got some value from this and some interest but you know just look at that story that you tell yourselves and then just change it for a better one and if you did get some value and liked it i'd appreciate if you smash that like button so it's nice and blue as per normal the old subscribe below so if you haven't subscribed and you like this kind of content and you do get some value from it please subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell notification and just share it with other people let someone else know you feel, feel might get some value from it i would really appreciate that and i've got to say as always a big thank you to my current inspiration of Gemma Stone and I will see you guys tomorrow bye bye thanks again for watching guys I really really do appreciate it if you haven't subscribed already make sure you do so down here and check out my other video down here remember live your best life and profit from that passion see you next time bye bye